Hi, it's Clayton from Australian Direct and the founder of Kickass. If you don't know this bloke, this is Craig. G'day. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say a big hello out there to our competitors. Hopefully you'll learn a bit from this video. Um, and, and to all the people out there that like to fire up social media and disagree with things I say, jump in as well. But I tell you what, I've got something pretty cool to tell you. Um, Kickass DC DC chargers have evolved and I'm making a quick video. This isn't a flashy video. We're going to make it up as we go along about what's different between our first generation of chargers and the new DC DC chargers. Because some things have changed, haven't they, Craigo? What do you they have? We've got some big improvements on this latest model. Wait till you see it. So people used to buy DC DC chargers and they used to work really, really well with just two wires, positive and negative, going to the input side. And that worked really well with old vehicles, but the new vehicles now have changed. And most, not all of them, will work much, much better if you use an ignition wire. Now, Craig, did the old DC charger and all most of the ones on the market have an ignition wire that you can quickly disconnect if you need to? No, it didn't, wasn't a quick and easy job. You had to actually plumb it in and wire it yourself like our previous model, but um, the new version's great. Let's talk about it. Yeah, well, let's talk about it. So. We made the DC chargers plug and play. And for all the super nerds out there who like to hardwire you th yourself, I've seen some people saying, you know, well, this is a new one with the triple, which I'll talk about. I don't want the Anderson plug thing called side cutters. Cut it off, there you go, wire it up yourself. Um, so, but we'll go back to the old one. So this kick-ass torch, which you should own if you don't already have one, because they're cool, look at this. Got functions, party, torch, phone bank. You know, that's gonna be the divider between the old and the new. So the old one came with the two core cable, okay? Positive and negative came down the cable and plugged into the input side of the DC-DC charger. That's it. And it worked, as long as you had an older vehicle that didn't need an ignition wire. But if you did need to run an ignition wire, and we're talking about a plug and play, so battery boxes, that kind of thing, surprises coming in the future. Um, but if you do want something that's plug and play and you needed that ignition wire, you'd have to go and get a wire and then run that to your vehicle and then hardwire it in and connect it up to a source. Now, when I say ignition, let me be clear. In your car, you've got off, you've got ignition, and then you've got on. When you're on ignition, can you play music? Yep. Car stereo turns yep. on, doesn't it, Craig? Yep. Um, so ignition isn't gonna turn on. So we call it ignition wire. We should probably call it the on wire. When it's on, on. And the engine's running. This will send a signal to the DC-DC charger to start charging. So on a lot of new vehicles, I'm not gonna get into the complexities because I'll do that later, but the voltage from the start battery of the vehicle isn't sometimes high enough when it should be to have the DC charger running at all time. So you needed the ignition wire. Now I suggest that all vehicles past- 2000, pretty much, Lee. Should use an ignition wire, okay? So how did we fix the problem? Well, before people used to run a wire to the back of their vehicle, conjured it, and they couldn't unplug it and remove it, especially when they were using battery boxes. And it was a pain for us, it was a pain for the customers. So on the other side of the kick-ass torch, da -da 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 -da, okay, is updated software. Let's talk about that quickly. You can charge lithium with this one and competitors. This will reboot a lithium battery that has been disconnected due to low voltage. This will actually turn the battery back on without having to buy any gadgets. Customers, you can talk about it in the forum, how we do that. We'll tell you about it later. It's in the manual, you can download it. But lithium, AGM, automatic charging. Now, let's say you're old school and you've bought this and you haven't got our new wiring kit, which I haven't told you about. Can the old one plug in, Craig? Certainly can, mate. There's, it still works exactly the same. Look at that. So you can plug the old one back in, reverse compatible. Want to hardwire it? 99.95 on eBay, you can get yourself a pair of side cutters, chop, you can wire it up yourself. Kick-ass torch. Did I say the kick-ass torch is a power bank as well? These things rock, magnetic. But what's that got to do with DC chargers? Probably not much, just trying to sell one. Everyone loves them though. Waterproof. Um, so, triple Anderson plug we put on here. Why? Because the new wiring kit, can you see this cable has the ignition wire inside? No more conduit. Now, if you want to run it without the ignition wire, that's fine. Don't connect it up under the car, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Now, I call it the ignition wire, but remember, it's called the on wire, okay? On, not ignition. Don't know why we call it ignition wire. Anyway, it's got a little eye there. So you can plug the charger in like this. Positive, negative, and ignition wire are all connected. Wanna remove it? No problem. So what's the difference when you wire it up, Craig? Well, the main difference is up this end, mate, which is the real biggie that we got. 
So underneath your bonnet, we'd normally go to your battery. So once we've, got, we've, we've done it all for you, we've got our fuse. But there we have, we have the little wire that's ready waiting for you. We give you a little bit of extra wire and that's what you need to tap into your vehicle's ignition on or engine on, on signal. Yep. So something like um, the car's fuel pump relay or anything that's it, when the engine is on that gives you a hot or 12 volt source. That's what you need to connect it up to. We've given you everything to connect it up. All you're gonna do is pop like that. If you can't find it, mate, just go to your auto. They're not gonna charge a fortune to put in one wire, but mate, we've done it all for you, so it's pretty easy. Bloody oath, and I don't know if we're allowed to say that on TV. Bloody oath, mate. So, the ignition wire, why didn't we just make it permanently connected? Well, if you've got an old vehicle, you probably don't need it, so you don't need to find anywhere to connect it. How will you know it's working? Because it's bloody working. It's charging, and it doesn't stop charging halfway through when the vehicle's running. Okay, if you see the charger start charging and then turn off and then start charging again, you need the ignition wire. But you know what? Just connect the bloody ignition it wire. It is so fair. beneficial to have it. It makes Just the charger it. work a lot, a lot better. Just connect it. Um, so how do you find, now we call it ignition wire. I'm going to have to go to some counselling. What's it called? The engine on wire. Engine on wire, on wire, right? So you connect this up to positive and negative of your battery. Pretty simple. Fuse, that's all built in. I would suggest that everyone just connects ignition wire, why not? Plug the bullet connector together. So this wire here, when this detects a positive signal, it tells the charger to change the way it thinks a little bit and start charging when the car's on, okay? And it's got some safety cutout features for all the people who want to pick it apart. Check the manual. We're keeping this simple for the ordinary person, okay? Um, so you can either take it to an old electrician or what you can do if you want to play around with things, get yourself one of these. It's just a little test light, so negative goes onto the chassis of the vehicle. And this little pin here, you can stick into cable like this, you see, like that. And if the light comes on, there's power. So what you do is you go around and, Craig, what kind of places would you find a wire that comes on when the car is on, on? Right, the best one is if you, most modern cars have a great fuse box system. So if you pick your fuse box up, you have a look underneath, you can count your fuses. And a lot of them will actually say spare ignition, ignition wire, heated seats, a lot of things that cars don't he, have. He likes heated seats, um, the only Queenslander. Once I know again, does. you get your test light, you check it, well, the ignition's just in the on position, there's no power, we're, we're laughing, we'll turn the vehicle on, the engine running, we get our little test light beeping, we know that's, that's what we need to tap into. So, just to summarise that, what you can do is turn the car key to accessories, and you want to look for a wire that's off, then get your mate to turn it to on. Does a light come on with it poked into one of those wires? No, nah, try a different one, turn it back to off, find a light that's on, turn it on, does a light come on? You might be doing it for a while. This is a layman's way of doing it until you find a wire that does come on. Once you do, connect this little wire into that wire, happy days. Done. If you don't know what you're doing, I'd suggest that is for people who've got a reasonable understanding. Um, what should we say, a little disclaimer here? Go for the disclaimer, Craig. Uh, make sure that you're a qualified auto electrician before you do this, all rights reserved, kick-ass products, proprietary limited. Otherwise, don't be a tight ass. Go and see an auto electrician. If he charges your fortune to keck one wire, get a different one. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it. Mate, um, any other questions people have got? Lithium, we've talked about that. Um, are you gonna do a better video? Yes. Um, are the charges gonna be in stock long? Probably not. Seems like most people are out of stock at the moment. Um, this is a bloody excellent idea, guys. We've been working on it for a long time. It's a DC-DC charger with a solar controller. Remember, on the input side here, you've got your solar as well, so you can connect it unregulated. Of course, you'd buy a kick-ass solar panel. And then on the output side, this is what goes to the battery that you're charging, okay? And in our website, and we'll put a, a listing, Jai, over there, our marketing manager, come and say get out of the camera, just stick your face in front of the screen, mate. This is Jai. Yep, Jai. Can you make sure you put the uh, Anderson to ring term terminal with fuse adapter in there because you can plug that Anderson to ring terminals, which is one of these. We'll put that as an upsell. So say you wanted just to connect it to a battery, you could buy this little adapter on the output side and connect it to the batteries. Nice and easy. Yeah, thanks for buying Kickass. Don't be silly, don't buy anything else. And um, thanks for watching.